Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Auto Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will learn how to make multiple plots or how to make subplots in Python. So let's start. Open Python. So for uh, Python we are using this uh, anaconda distribution and within this anaconda distribution we are using this spider a spider ID for writing the code uh, the benefit of this anaconda spider is you can uh, all the required modules like scipy, numpy and matplotlibs are pre-installed uh, along with this anaconda distribution further uh, in our last video we talked about how to plot in python so if your plot is coming on this ipython console then you can change the settings from tools preferences and then ipython console and then graphics and here at back end you have to select automatic and after that you have to restart the spider and python and this anaconda and only then your settings will came into effect okay so let's start with writing so first of all we have to import the matplotlib library specifically the pipe plot from it as let's say plt and then import numpy as np okay so let's save this file as Mm, multiple plots name and then save it okay now prior to it we want to close if uh, as um, soon as this uh, script runs so we need like all the previous open plots should be closed off automatically so there is a command plt dot close uh, all uh, not all uh, it was Yes, plt dot close all right and then first of all let's generate the time sequence or the index number so what we are planning we will generate a sine wave cos wave and uh, and a equation or a parabolic equation okay so first we will generate the sample indexes so for that if you want to generate a sine wave cos wave uh, you remember like this sampling frequency is critical so first we define a sampling frequency and then we will define we will generate numbers so numbers are being generated from np dot range so it goes from let's say from minus 3 to 3 second and at a difference of 1 by fs uh, now we will generate our sine wave as x equals to np dot sine and that will be 2 into pi okay so pi is directly not defined so for that we have to import from math library so from math import pi so 2 pi uh, we have also not defined the frequency so let's say we are generating a 5 hertz signal and signal frequency okay so 2 pi f into n and let's check whether it is generating or not so plt dot plot uh, n comma x and let's give it a name okay let's plot this x label as time that is in seconds and y label as amplitude and we'll make a title of it soon but prior to plt dot grid and make it true let's save it and let's run yeah there is a mat plot lib okay Yeah, so this sine wave or I said should sine wave is being generated perfectly. 
okay so what we want now we will generate a cost wave so np dot cost uh, again 2 into pi and we will generate of same frequency f into n now what we want we want to generate uh, plot this sine wave and cost wave on the same plot so unlike MATLAB in Python we don't have to use uh, hold on command because uh, whatever plot is there that uh, we uh, uh, write a next plot command after it so it will automatically plot on the same graph okay so what we do let's plot it in red color or let's say blue color with the dash symbol okay and now plot uh, a cos wave on it so let plt dot plot and comma y and we want to plot in red color with a different symbol okay like this now uh, so now we will make a title of it so that it can signify sort of plt dot title uh, sign and cos wave so that's fine let's see yeah sign and cos wave are generated so there is a little difference because both the signal are of same frequency so let's make it 0 0.5 times of the sine wave okay. 0.5 times of the sine wave So this red curve is a cos wave and that is a little uh, slower frequency than that of the sine wave frequency okay so now we want to make a legend so that is different uh, simple legend and we just need to put the arguments into it uh, in a form of a list so first is the sine wave so we need to pro provide sine wave then second one is the cos wave and we need to put a comma in between right so it is a form of a list a string list we just need to provide that so it automatically appears here so sine wave and cos wave okay so this is how you generate these two uh, plots or uh, multiple plots if you want to do this plotting on the same plot right we can also now another thing is we can also write like uh, in a form we want to plot in a form of a subplots okay that can also be done so prior to that let's generate uh, another uh, variable z which is nothing but uh, uh, simple square of n uh, some equation n square plus 2 into n plus 10 so if you are familiar with the python you will find power is double asterisk sign so let's say we want to plot it as well plt dot plot on the same plot n comma z and we want to make it a solid line so that will be fine and we want to make it in green okay control that okay we want to make it a green so our third plot is equation so let's run it yeah so it is coming up somewhere <laughs> so all the plots will come on the same plot without any hold on command okay so let's move forward and now learn how to make subplots from it. Uh, so we'll write in the same figure, uh, in the same program. So one thing is one figure is already there and if we want to make a plot on another figure. So there is a command plt dot figure. That's simple. So we want on a figure number two. So we need to provide figure number two. And then uh, similar to the MATLAB uh, subplot command here to that command is applicable and goes in the same form. So plt dot subplot. Now this plot numbers uh, is a 
special thing and generally people used to forget so let's make it clear uh, it is your complete figure so in subplot there are three arguments number of rows comma number of columns comma number of plot so suppose you want to divide your plot into two rows and two columns and you want to plot here so the command will be subplot two comma two comma two right you have divided in two rows and then two columns and second number of plot so similar we will do here first sign we will plot in the first part so let's say two comma two comma one it can also be written as two two one and then we will make plt dot plot uh, and comma x right and in blue color and then we will make a title to it plt dot title pitla sine wave okay and we will make this x label y label and grid everything there let's copy and paste it and then we want uh, in subplot another plot subplot 222 so this is also the format so let's say plt the dot plot and comma y comma uh, let's make green and that to a different with different symbols and let's make a title to it uh, cos wave okay and then we'll do the same thing x label y label and now we want to make a third subplot subplot that is 2 comma 1 comma 2 so I hope you will figure out how the plot will come so plt dot plot and comma z and red color with dotted lines okay and then let's make it title as equation plot and then we'll do all these things okay in this case uh, this label will not be time we can make it a sample index okay. so let's see how the plots looks like okay so let's close it so this was our first plot on figure one this is our second plot on figure two but uh, it seems fine uh, the only difference is because there was number very large number seven so it looks like a single straight line but that is not the problem the problem is uh, these indexes or these labels are in the same line or they are overlapping each other like if you make it like this so we don't want this kind of thing like here it is and the amplitude of this second plot is overlapping with the plot of this first plot so this should not be happen so what there is a command to remove for that so let's say first we make it instead of this and make it this one and there is a one thing plt dot layout uh, plt dot tight layout i think plt dot tight layout so it removed this problem tight underscore layout okay so it will automatically arrange all the subplots so that they don't overlap each other so now if you look them no one is overlapping with each other and even if you expand it so now they are looks perfect so this and now this can be used in any paper or any literature work so i hope you understand like how to make uh, these different kind of plots in python how to make two plots on the same figure how to make different figures and how to make subplots uh, in python so that's it for this video and further i forgot to mention if you want to download the source code of this video you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org in the download section at that website you can find the code of this lecture 
okay so that's it for this video thank you